Tonight I'm a Mercedes goes on that pole for the last time. You got to kick it up for notch night. Where is this bitch at? Something done happened to her. E Valley has picked up a lot of steam since the very first episode. This is gonna be my episode four trailer review and ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the best trailer they have done because it reveals a whole lot. And let's jump right on into it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. We go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. We discuss TV shows, we discuss how to help you guys make money in the stock market and whatever is hot in the world at that moment. Let's finish the rest of the trailer, then we'll slow it down, break it down, and discuss it. I ain't nobody pump. You everybody pump for what I heard. Who the pump now? If I could just push this casino development through, I could do more for this city. I jeopardize all that for a strip. You don't know who I am. Ladies and gentlemen, the first moments of this trailer are the most damning of the whole season. You see our girl, that car, that rock, that car that we all want to ride in, Mercedes, getting ready to perform her last dance, putting on her shoes, putting on her outfit, face up. We see her about to come to the stage, and then immediately Uncle Clifford comes in and says, where the hell is that bitch? And you see the girls in disarray, you see the white girl crying, you see Mississippi, crooked, crooked letter, crooked letter, looking distraught. The very next clip, we see the police cars, ladies and gentlemen. What in the hell happened to Mercedes? Is she kidnapped? Is she killed? Was she arrested? My best guess is that coach that wanted her, that she denied and said, you can't afford me, has kidnapped her. And possibly this is Clifford calling the police, putting out a search party for her. But man, this seems to be a whole lot like the shy and that we got somebody missing already. And it was my favorite character. Next clip, we see Little Murder, as opposed to Big Murder, having his manhood challenged by somebody, saying that, you know, he's pretty much everybody's bitch. And then he gets mad and he decides he's going to swing on this brother, whoever this guy is. I can't wait to figure out who this guy is and why he's got beef with little murder as opposed to big murder. But on the real talk, he's probably getting at him because he's already heard that he's got a thing going on with Dollar, excuse me, Uncle Clifford, and the word done got around on the streets. And so that's probably what's going on with this, and we'll follow that to see what happens in this next episode. Then we see Crooked Dre has a couple of videos up of Club Pink people going in and he's explaining this probably to the mayor and a member of the city council or someone who's an investor to this casino and basically they trying to get this deal done and ladies and gentlemen I believe there is a crooked backstory to the mayor I think that one of these strippers at Clifford's Club could possibly be his daughter or maybe even Mercedes's child is his daughter and he got with her when she was underage I guess we'll figure out his backstory and as they're diligently trying to figure out how to get this deal done, we see them cut to a clip of Andre talking to Autumn Knight as she's standing outside somewhere. Then they cut back to Dre trying to figure out what the hell can we do to get this thing done. And then we see the mayor just getting frustrated because they're coming into some roadblocks. The main roadblock is Corbin. Corbin ain't trying to sign nothing unless he can get a land lease deal done. And I'm sure they're going to try to figure out a way to get around him. Then we cut to Andre talking to Autumn Knight in that same parking lot, saying that he has lost and jeopardized a whole lot over a damn stripper. Well, you know what, Andre? That's your punk ass fault. Ain't nobody tell you just come to the panty draws. I know that is a strong weakness to most men. And you came to the panty draws, bro, and you married, which puts you in double jeopardy. And we see Autumn Knight finishing off this trailer saying, there's more to me than you know. Well, we all know that, but we want to know what the hell is it? Was you a former CEO? Was your husband a businessman? What is your past, Autumn Knight? Can we stop dragging this out? So ladies and gentlemen, episode four looks to be a good doozy. Leave me all your comments on what you think is gonna happen, and that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Get yourself that life gain. 
Follow me on Instagram. Send me any stories you have about any of the shows we covering so I can might possibly make you a video. And then follow us tonight as the fellas go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. Until that next Sex is Hell video. I'll see you.